In this video, we will discuss about the pathology of extra memory paget disease or paget's disease of vulva. So, what is paget's disease of vulva? It is the proliferation of glandular cells in the epidermis of skin. You know that epidermis of skin is made of multiple layers of cell, but if in these layers of cells some glandular cells start proliferating, we call this as paget's disease of the vulva. And how does the paget's disease of vulva develop? Remember that most commonly this arises from progenitor epidermal cells. So some progenitor cells present in the epidermis of the skin become abnormally differentiated into the glandular cells. So you will see glandular cells in the epidermis of skin that is Paget's disease of vulva. And in a minority of cases, this Paget's disease may arise from underlying carcinoma like Paget's disease of breast. So this warrants a brief discussion about Paget's disease of breast. We studied in our module of breast pathology that, that in the breast there are lobules and terminal duct and sometimes these terminal duct and lobules undergo neoplasia and form ductal carcinoma in situ and sometimes what happen that these cells of ductal carcinoma in situ migrate along the ducts and enter into the skin of the nipple when they enter into the skin of nipple these malignant glandular cells are known as paget's disease of breast and the point to understand is that in paget's disease of breast the paget's disease is always a manifestation of underlying carcinoma but here in the Paget's disease of vulva only a minority cases are representative of underlying carcinoma and in most of the cases the Paget's disease is caused by abnormal differentiation of progenitor epidermal cells so this is the important point that Paget's disease of breast always represents an underlying carcinoma while extra memory Paget's disease or Paget's disease of vulva in minority of cases does it represent underlying carcinoma mostly it does not represent an underlying carcinoma so what is the gross appearance so it so pages disease of vulva appear as red erythematous lien with a scaly plate so you will see a red colored area on the skin of the vulva along with a scaly plate and for the microscopic feature you will see presence of paged cells in the epidermis you know epidermis is lay, made of multiple layers of cells and in this layer of cells you will see this paged cell that are large in size they have abundant eosinophilic granules as you can see in the pale cytoplasm so their cytoplasm will be pale and they have abundant eosinophilic granules and relatively larger in size and remember that as this pages disease of vulva develops on the epidermis so it can create confusion between the pages disease of vulva and malignant melanoma vulvar melanoma because both vulvar melanoma and these paged cells appear as granular structures granular cells how will you differentiate between paged cells and cells of vulvar melanoma? The answer is that these paged cells stain positively by PAS stains, while the vulvar melanomas do not stain positively by PAS. So this is an important differentiating feature. So this is the discussion about extra memory paged disease or paged disease of vulva.